Hello everyone, I'm Milena Marcic and today I, I will present forecasting and warning service of plant protection of Serbia. First of all, I want to, I would thank uh, to organizers, to invitation uh, to this symposium and to opportunity to present concept and activities of our work. Imagine that you are an apple grower and that your goal is to produce healthy and good quality apples. And uh, in order to achieve that, you must protect your apples from pathogens and pests. Apples are fruits that require the most chemical treatments in production against pests pest and, and, and diseases. I will tell you that you have uh, 114 uh, fungicides registered for control of apple scab. That's more, that uh, is the most important disease in apple production. And also that you have 66 insecticides uh, on available to control uh, codling mod, and that is the most important pest in apple production. I think that uh, decision that you have to make is very difficult. And if we add the fact that we are on uh, example on the 7th of June and that critical days are coming, then the then decision you have to make is very difficult. But now imagine that you are an apple grower and you have access to information about harmful organisms that are uh, currently registered in apple orchards that you have recommendation about protection measures, what uh, you should apply and when. And I think that the, that decision you have to make now would be uh, much easily. This is an example of one such recommendation. In the first part of this recommendation, uh, we see that um, this recommendation was uh, written on 7th of June this year. And four, uh, four harmful organisms uh, were processed in it. Apple scab, powdery mildew, green apple aphid, and codling moth. Uh, oh, oh, sorry. Uh, on the, uh, oh, each recommendation uh, have information about uh, host plant and information uh, um, uh, about visual uh, observations uh, in, in orchard. And uh, every recommendation have information about uh, harmful organisms that are detected in, in, in that orchard and uh, about measure. Oh, why there is need for treatment, when treatment should be carried out and what should be used. And this recommendation uh, was written for region of Novi Sad. And let's start from the beginning. Uh, this is part of recommendation that refers to the host plant. Uh, we can see that uh, apples are in phase fruits about half of uh, final size, that on BBCH uh, scale is uh, 75. And uh, every recommendation, almost every recommendation have pictures. It is usual to take pictures um, when we um, make our, our visual examinations. And um, all pictures on our portal is uh, or original and in high resolution. You can see this is a uh, development stage of Apple on that day, 7th of June. Uh, this is uh, the uh, picture of egg of codling uh, moth on the apple leaf. And this is the green apple aphid on the uh, uh, peak of apple branch. Uh, now we go to the part of recommendation that refers to the uh, harmful organism. First is apple scab. Uh, as you can see, the, we uh, write that the discharge of the pseudotatium of the apple scab is about 90%, and that indicates the need for further protection from this pathogen. That means that another 10% of potential uh, material is present in orchard and uh, uh, most precisely 10% of ascospores uh, would be discharged in uh, natural conditions and that is the reason why protection measures should be taken. Uh, also we said that announced unstable weather with precipitation for weekends will create favorable conditions for the infection so producers 
are recommended to use preventive uh, fungicides on uh, this uh, active substance captain. The next pathogen is powdery mildew. And we said that if symptoms of powdery mildew uh, of apple are, pre are present in orchards, we recommend in the use of uh, fungicides on active substance tebuconazole and fluopira. Green apple aphid uh, is uh, best. And we said that on the peak of the branches, the, uh, we registered the uh, presence of uh, colonies of this uh, pest. And producers are advised to visit the orchards and if the presence of these pests and the next that will be, uh, that will be see on the next slide, if they register presence of this pest, uh, then we recommend that uh, insecticides on uh, this, this combination of insecticides. And this is the uh, most important uh, pest in uh, apple production. And we said that in the visual inspection of leaves and fruits, we uh, registered presence of eggs of codling moth on different embryonic uh, stages. And for this pest, we give a forecast. And that is that at the coming weekend, the second generation larvae of the pest will begin hatching. Uh, as you can see, uh, we uh, here have uh, uh, four harmful organisms, and uh, we managed to uh, to defend a four side attack and uh, to uh, and to defend our apples, but not always been uh, like that. Uh, when we start working, uh, we have recommendations for one. Uh, uh, a harmful organism, but today we have a uh, recommendation for host plant. But uh, what I want to do now is to roll back all of us to the very beginning of our uh, service. And first was this uh, directive, number 128 of the European Parliament and of the Council uh, from 2010. And this uh, directive established a framework uh, for community action to achieve the sustainable use of pesticide. And our uh, system was a consequence of this directive. Forecasting and the warning service of plant protection first was uh, established in, on the territory of province of Vojvodina in April in 2010 and supported by the Secretariat for Agriculture, Water Management and Forestry of the province of Vojvodina. And um, the system functioned through the work of 12 regional offices. Uh, every, in every regional uh, office works uh, two or three agronomists for plant protection, depending mm -hmm. on the territory that they cover. And we have the main office in the city of Novi Sad. Uh, they, uh, their works uh, different uh, profiles. Today uh, with me uh, uh, is my first associate. On my right side is Mr. Ivan Kochi. He is IT expert in our service and he deals with IT issues. And on my right side is Mr. Boško Jezrikic. Uh, he is agronomist of plant protection uh, like I am. In 2012, our service was extended to the entire country, uh, to the entire territory of the country, and supported by the Ministry of uh, uh, Agriculture, Water Management, and Forestry. Today, uh, we um, we work uh, through uh, the 29 regional offices on the uh, territory of Serbia, and the main office is still in Novi Sad. Uh, 80 participants uh, are involved in our uh, system and uh, uh, above 100 uh, observers um, that observers provide us uh, daily information about catches on traps. When we start uh, to work, what was the situation in plant protection in Serbia? I would like to address here five strategies. The first and the uh, most applied is spraying by calendar. The little bit better is uh, spraying by calendar, but after biofixing the identification. 
The third strategy will be uh, when we registered the high presence of uh, uh, harmful organism in the field and then spraying. Spraying randomly is uh, not a rare case uh, also. And five strategies, aggregation level one. Uh, I would like to call your attention now because this is a very popular strategy in plant protection in uh, European Union and in our country, and many projects are based on this, on this strategy. But uh, let me see. In this strategy, we have a decision maker that the decision maker needs some um, information about harmful organisms. And um, these data are supplied uh, by an observer, a camera, or a drone. After uh, processing this data and analyzing uh, using some software, uh, we have uh, data. Uh, and based on this data, the, the decision is uh, made. But this is only data about space and temporal distribution of imago or other historical data. And what is the paradigm of this uh, strategy? Timely and effective tracking. And what is the goal? The goal is control of the population of the harmful organism by tracking the number of imagos using a trap and consequently the use of pesticides. And what is the result? reduction of monitoring costs and less use of pesticide less use of pesticide and we ask is this is this uh, correct of course it isn't and what is the our answer to this challenge our answer is establishing a comprehensive monitoring of host plant harmful organisms and uh, environmental conditions um, only by uh, uh, analyzing and processing all data obtained by it, uh, monitoring, the right decision uh, can be made in plant protection. And uh, let's see what our tools of monitoring. For monitoring of harmful organisms, uh, we use pheromone traps, light traps, spore catchers, visual examination of pathogens, visual examination of pests, trials, and laboratory analysis. Um, reading of catches <coughs> on pheromone traps and light traps are uh, on a daily basis. Spore catchers serve us for inventorization of phytopathogenic fungi in the air. Visual examination of pathogens and pests are very important tool for us. Um, uh, they are carried out according to the unique methodology and in uh, continuous intervals. With trials, uh, we defined um, thresholds or some other very important biological facts about harmful organisms, like uh, conditions for infection, incubation period, or uh, development stage of some pests. <coughs> And, uh, of course, we have our um, uh, own laboratory where uh, identification, we are carried out uh, identification of harmful organisms. A monitoring of host plant um, uh, is done using by visual examination of host plant and monitoring of environmental condition is done using, uh, using uh, automatic weather station. Automatic weather station are located in the uh, field. Uh, on this picture, we can see a meteorological uh, shelter for the sensors. Our goal is to uh, measure uh, conditions in the, in the plant, uh, plant canopy. Uh, this is a picture of sensors of soil uh, temperature and soil uh, moisture. Uh, this is a main unit box of automatic weather station with Campbell scientific data uh, logger and this is an example of uh, setting on one road uh, this is I think Roseberry uh, Plantage and uh, every uh, every automatic weather station are placed in the field this is an example of tool aggregation uh, levels uh, on the first three level we spent a little time and uh, our goal is to put all available tools for um, 
uh, the defined protection model. This is the last uh, stage in our. Uh, uh, this is the last um, level, uh, level uh, in our work, and mostly we have this uh, aggregation level uh, four of tools. And on this slide, uh, we can see uh, how it looks. On the left side, you can see uh, monitoring of host plant. We recorded the stage of uh, development of host plant uh, and uh, that data uh, we connecting with the uh, meteorological <coughs> data. Result is uh, phenological models for predicting the development stage of host plant. And on the right side, you can see uh, monitoring of harmful organisms more uh, precisely for the pests. Um, Every day we record the captures uh, on traps. This data we associate with the uh, meteorological data and the uh, results of aggregating this data and data from trials and the visual examinations uh, lead to phenological models. Uh, phenological models are very uh, important for us. Uh, that is tool for, pre for predicting uh, development stage of uh, pests. Uh, this is a um, display for our database, as you can see, uh, this is on the left side is continuous uh, visual examination of uh, host plants. Uh, as you can see, before the 7th of June, we done 24 times the visual examination of host uh, plant, and that day on 7th of June, the um, apples were in phase fruit about half final size. Also on the right side, you, ha you can see uh, the continuous visual examination of PEST, uh, more precisely for codling mod. And that day, uh, on 7th of June, uh, eggs uh, present on leaves in index of presence 0 0.5. And we confirmed that in visual examination. We, uh, we saw, saw that in previous slide. This is a display from our database for phenological model for codling mod. As you can see, uh, this is information about date, uh, average temperature, daily increment, and cumulated degree days from biofix, expressed in uh, degrees of Celsius. And from biological information, we have uh, uh, pr uh, pr percentage of uh, flight light, egg laying, and egg hatching for every generation. In our country, we have three generations of codling mod, and our phenom phenological model gives this information for each generation. That day, 7 June, we have 8.45% of egg laying, and uh, we confirmed that also in visual examination. Uh, through the one year, we uh, have um, uh, 2,000 uh, observation uh, points. Uh, we monitored about 150 economically important uh, uh, harmful organisms in 36 different host plants. Um, we, um, uh, using pheromone traps, we monitored uh, 45 different uh, uh, pests in, uh, oh, um, I think, uh, 120 uh, locations. Um, 150 uh, light tramps are installed in our country, also five spore catchers. We have 173 automatic weather stations. Through the one year, uh, over 4,000 visual examination of pathogens is conducted, or over 7,000 visual examination of pests, 3,600 visual examination of host plant. Uh, we have about 90 trials through the one year and over 4,000 laboratory analyses. And uh, uh, on the basis of this recommendation, we uh, we given our recommendation. Up to this day, I think uh, we uh, give uh, for this year 1,236 recommendation for the whole country. And uh, each of the recommendation is a part of plant protection model, uh, model that we are developed for the most important uh, agricultural production in our country. 
that model are based on the principles of biologically justified pesticide application and anti-resistant strategy and respecting the maximum number of treatments and prescribed withdrawals. And who are the users of our recommendation? On the first place, that is the agricultural producers, also agronomists, and all interested participants in agriculture production. Dissemination of data is done through the web portal. We have these two web addresses. Uh, through the SMS messages and TV programs, lectures, seminars, and other ways. And we saw uh, how our system works, but um, how, must, uh, uh, how much uh, it costs. Uh, this is an uh, uh, analyze of uh, total cost of uh, investment and uh, return of investment, and of investment for the territory of province of uh, Vojvodina and uh, we can say that all direct costs plus all in, uh, in indirect costs is equal 670,000 euros per year for our work on the province of Vojvodina and uh, if we look at uh, Roy's side uh, and uh, take into consideration only uh, one treatment in sugar beet against Cercospora beticola. The, this treatment is very um, uh, uh, actual these days. And one treatment costs uh, 50 euros. If we multiply that by 60,000 hectares, uh, <coughs> which we have in, on the territory of Vojvodina, we get 3 million euros. And um, if we save just one treatment, we turn over almost four hour budgets. That's only one treatment against one harmful organism in one host plant. We save uh, a lot of money, but uh, the total uh, return of investment is very hard to calculate. But we can say that uh, with the forecasting and warning system of plant protection of Serbia, is possible to establish rational and justified use of pesticide in the territory of Serbia. All our activities are focused to integrated management of harmful organisms and integrated agriculture production. Thank you for the attention.